Hey there guys, what's going on today? Welcome to another, well, preview review vid from MK30. Not review vid, but preview. I, I mean, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this, but uh, more of a preview vid. So this is a Trick or Treat Studio site, alright? They just had an update recently. They finally updated us on the Ultimate Chucky, which I'm going to get to in a second. But before that, I just wanted to show this off first. Uh, excuse me. Just had some dinner. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, I saw some reports today, a couple of other vids on YouTube, uh, one, one of them being a uh, Nightmare Script, who I subscribe to. Highly recommend you subscribe to this channel, by the way, if you're a big Chucky or Halloween fan in general, or hot horror. Uh, big Chucky guy. I'm sure uh, Edgar O is going to cover this too. Uh, I'm surprised he hasn't already. He must be busy at the moment, because he always he's one of the first to post Big Chucky to himself. I posted a video about this months ago, back in July of 2021, when they had an event announcement of the Ultimate Chucky. So, this is some of the Chucky pages, one of many. Uh, you know, I'm going to show you guys some other stuff in a second, but first I want to cover this. So, this is a rumored doll that they didn't give us any yes or no answers for like a year. About almost two years ago, I want to say, Garrett Zima, one of the guys who helped him work on this, the first Trick or Treat, uh, Good Guy Chucky. He posted, he made a post on, I think, his Instagram or Facebook, and then he immediately got, he deleted it within, like, a day, if not less, saying that uh, there was a plush Chucky doll that he uh, had posted. And it looked very similar to this. What the hell was that? That was weird. You guys just hear that? It was like a weird bing. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Anyway... So, he posted, uh, you know, that there was a, a budget Chucky plus Chucky coming, where you would just, you know, just like the movies, you know, where it's like uh, a sit-in Chucky or just Chucky, you know, when, you know, it's not animatronic or moving around or anything, when you just needed the doll in certain scenes. So, that would be when he's in plush mode, you know, just a plush Chucky, he could pretty much just sit down. The only way he could stand up like you see him here is if you buy one of those doll stands. Because it's not going to stand up. Unlike this one, where you can't stand him up, though he technically won't balance himself alone. Maybe, maybe if you really practice and balance him out. But the doll is just so heavy that it's near to impossible. It's heavy foam, heavy materials. It's like a wire frame inside to pose him. And you can't, you just can't do it. You watch any review vid with the trick or treat, good guy, Chucky, good guy replica. You're not going to see him stand on his own. He's either going to be standing on a doll stand or leaning up against a wall or something. This one, however, also can't stand, but for different reasons. He's just not poseable, and he's actually the opposite. He's too light. Whereas this one would fall over, this one would just sit down, pretty much. So, uh, you know, this is good if you want to sit him down or position him, use him as a prop, obviously, or... Uh, I guess for a kid, maybe even if a kid wants it to sleep with him or whatever, or drag it around, play with it, ragdoll, it's perfectly fine. Unlike this one, that's like very heavy, also more of a collector's item. You know, I've seen a few vids where people look. They, if you want, they want to spend the five hundred dollars to get to their four or five year old more power. But this is more or less a collector's item. You know, most people you see, you're gonna put it in glass, display it, keep it in the box like I do. Uh, only take it out for special occasions. Expensive doll. You don't want to just, you know, play around with it. Plus, you'll rip the foam inside. Now, this doll, probably more durable and also more cheaper, hopefully. So, word on the street is, from what I understand, my own research and internet and what people speculate, it's going to go for 200 to 250 Now, this isn't confirmed, so don't don't say that, oh, you know, the Sky MK30 said that, because that's, that's just what I heard. Uh, they also refer to it as a budget Chucky, like a year ago, so, that uh, they're working on a plush doll. So, if that's the case, then it should be 2 to 250 I can't see this thing being 300 or more, otherwise, you're not really... <laughs> for another 200 you may as well just get that one, but... I want to say it's going to go, hopefully, for like 200 to 250 at most. If they break the 250 then it's not really much of a budget Chucky, in my opinion, but, uh... We'll see what happens. Hopefully, Trick or Treat doesn't go too nuts with it uh, and makes it affordable. Because I'm telling you guys, you guys are watching this, anybody from Trick or Treat, if you make this doll 150 to 200 range, you will get a bank, okay? 
So you could tell some of the main differences, aside from the color, the one on the right, the plush is uh, lighter colors, one of the replica is darker. I don't know if you could tell, but the clothes are also different. Now, from everything I've read, from what I understand, the good guy plush doll was said to have, uh, this is what Zima said now, again, things could change until, unless Trick or Treat confirms it, but they're showing it here in the catalog, so it stands to reason that what he said is probably going to be true. So you see, look at the shirts. The clothes are uh, corduroy, the replica, exactly the same movie materials on the left. And um, the same hair, the molds, everything. The one on the right, however, you can tell it's a little different. The hands look a little smaller. They look like they're maybe a cheaper plastic. Uh, same with the head. Uh, the eyes are actually implanted on the doll on the left, the $500 doll. The one on the right, the plush doll, the budget, more affordable doll, it's supposed to be just painted on the eyes, which honestly it looks amazing. I, from here, you can't even tell the difference regarding that. Um, looks like some of the paint details on the face, slightly different. Looks like the shape of the face is a little bit different, a little bit fatter on the right. Could also be the way he's got his hair comb, though. Um... Let's see here. Seems to be the same hand poses, positions. On this doll on the left, though, you could actually twist the hands, you know, left to right, besides posing the arms. The one on the right, the push, it's yet, uh, yet to be seen. We don't know if you could at least twist the arms, you know, like to at least um, swivel. Uh, the head, don't know if it could turn. Hopefully it can. It looks like it can, but I don't want to say yes or no because I don't know. The shoes look very good. Uh, again, just like compared to uh, Trick or Treat, Good Guy Studios, one uh, the uh, $500 replica. You can notice that the paint is uh, slightly brighter on the plush than the replica with darker colors. The materials look like they're, I believe they said they were printed. They were going to be printed on the plush budget Chucky. That's what they planned. And you can kind of see, I think that's what they're going to do or something similar, because you could just look at the clothing. You could tell. The one on the left is like, you know, a thicker corduroy. I can confirm that having uh, the actual doll. It is a very thick quality material. The one on the right literally looks like a quick printed, very thin, uh, cheaper material. Um, yeah. It just looks more like a rag doll. The arms are shorter. He looks a little fat around the waist, but understandable because he's stuffed plush. On, so, yeah, he should be. So, yeah, I mean, it looks amazing, though. Uh, I can't complain. You know, it's really, really detailed uh, for a plush uh, Chucky doll. And I know a lot of people, collectors out there, people like to modify dolls, what have you. People probably just display it like that. They want a plush Chucky doll. It's something that uh, a lot of people, Chucky fans, have been asking for for years. So this thing is going to fly. So I, I, I really hope they kind of give people a heads up. You know, like say like, oh, next month the plush Chucky is going up for pre-sale, for pre-order. But unfortunately, Trick or Treat doesn't do that. Um, the other thing that they do that I don't like. When you pre-order from Trick or Treat, they charge you full-blown right away. So if you order something for $20 pre-order... Boom, your, your card's getting charged $20. If you order pre-order something for $500, boom, $500 right off your card. Now, whereas other companies and third-party retailers that sell their products, what they do is they don't actually charge your card until they get the product in. So this, in my opinion, is the smarter way to go about that. But not everyone does that, unfortunately, trick-or-treat being one of the few that doesn't. So that kind of sucks, in my opinion, but what are you going to do? Yeah. Because the problem with that is, one, if you're not prepared and you got to save, you're going to lose out, at least on the first wave. And two, it's just like, you know, you get no heads up, you know, so it kind of sucks, you know, to put it bluntly. Uh, you know, like if you pre-order a movie or a game, they tell you specifically when it's coming out. You know, why Trick or Treat can't do that with their products is beyond me. I don't know, but it's their company. They, they run it how they want. That's just something I would do personally to give more people, you know, some time and a heads up to uh, save up to get your products. Um, okay, so yeah, so now we have the, moving on to the ultimate Chucky. Uh, yeah, so this was pretty awesome. 
This is obviously probably going to be the main talk of Chucky fans today, the Ultimate Chucky. They announced this last year at an event in July, live, and they just showed the mean face, Chucky, and uh, a couple of hands with the magnetic thing built into it to hold weapons, as well as the uh, CP3 pizza face Chucky. CP3 since a child's play 3 for those wondering. So, yeah, at the end of the movie, he gets half his face chopped off by a giant fan in the amusement park. Uh, haunted house type of thing. And it looked kind of cool. They only showed the sculpt with that, though. No color, no hair, nothing. Looked pretty cool. They didn't show, however, these two things. The voodoo knife replica, which is actual life-size to Chucky, more accurate proportionately. Which is cool. However, this one I noticed has blood on it, which is interesting. Uh, you know, some people may not like that, but I think it's kind of cool. And even if you don't, you could probably just paint over it, you know, with the silver, if you want to cover up over the blood. Um, so yeah, he could hold that. And here you got good guy Tommy headset. Now, this is really cool. I, I figured they were going to go with the child's play one head, where his hair's receding and he's turning human. But they didn't do that. Unless they do do that later on, I don't know. But <clears throat> I'm assuming this is the whole set here. You know, each has probably going to come with two hands or a weapon or something. Uh, but yeah. This is really cool. This actually surprised me. This is, in my opinion, is one of probably the best Chucky head that I like when he's not, like, you know, really grimacing in an evil way, you know, facial expression like he's going to kill you. Uh, because this one is just creepy. It's like an in-between, uh, you know, it's, it's like a neutral face Chucky, but he's like, kind of, you don't know if he's like alive or, or a doll, you know, because in Child's Play 2, he kind of moves his face around in, from that neutral, uh, stare. It's kind of creepy, but it's awesome. So the reason why it says good God Tommy headset is because that's how Tommy looked, even though all the good guys in that movie look like that. But yeah, Tommy had that blank expression, and then Chucky smashed his face, killed Tommy, buried Tommy, and uh, <laughs> took Tommy's place, quote-unquote. But it's actually Chucky posing as Tommy. So, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Charles play through, but yeah. Uh, this head, So this head's awesome. Yeah, this head's awesome. More of Child's Play 3 type of, uh, it looks like they changed his facial expression slightly, like he's, uh, his face looks a little wider, but it still looks awesome. Um, this head, I don't know how to feel about it. I feel like it's good, the detail's amazing. Maybe it's the hair throwing me off because his hair was more, like, shorter and kind of, like, spiky in Child's Play 3 at times, so I think that's what's doing it. I feel like if I bought this head, I would maybe mess around with his hair a little bit to make him look more screen accurate, but otherwise it looks amazing, so I can't complain there. And his, his teeth is almost look like, it almost looks like his, t his tongue is pushing up against his teeth. I, I don't I don't know, maybe I'm just nitpicking. But it looks great, nonetheless. And uh, eventually I do plan on getting this doll. Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> the only thing is, this thing's going to break my wallet so bad. It's probably going to be, I'm assuming, between 500 to $700. Again, they didn't they didn't confirm that, but just based off their uh, the history of their Chucky dolls, the good guy doll replica is five hundred, the seed of Chucky doll is six hundred. So this bad boy is probably going to be. I don't know, I'm still I'm going to go in between there, if not more possibly. I just hope it's not seven hundred. Um, because you could have the doll, and then you got to have these accessories sold separately. The head that's probably going to go for at least a hundred dollars each, or eighty minimum. I, I'm going to. That's a guess. Uh, the weapons, who knows? Maybe another twenty, thirty dollars. I, I, I don't, I don't know. I just hope they make it affordable and don't go too nuts with it. Okay, so now on to the next thing. Actually, there's one more thing I want to cover with the plush doll. Regarding the, uh, the price, the Toki Tina doll, which is like half the size of Chucky. However, it's exact replica of the show. It's got a little crank thing where she even says the phrases from the show. That's three hundred dollars. So the reason why I'm a little scared that they may go 300 with this doll is because it's still the, the, from their end they'll still say well it's still two hundred dollars less than the five hundred or six hundred dollars three hundred um, of the previous two current dolls the Cedar Chucky and Good Guy doll and it's a plush doll and it's bigger 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But hopefully, it's like I said, it's no more than 250. I'm hoping for 200, though. Please, trick or treat. You know, please just, you know, if you, it, it, it's a plush doll. You can't pose it or anything. It's supposed to be more of a budget. I, I just hope it's more affordable. Uh, okay, so anyway, yeah, so uh, let's go on to the next part here. Okay, so yeah, here we are. So this is this part pretty much, I, um, this excites me because this is from Chucky, the series, the TV series. Now, for those of you who haven't seen it, spoiler alert, uh, by episode, I want to say four or five, he gets burnt. And this is a whole new look for him in every movie, every show, whatever. You know, every every new, uh, every time there's a new Chucky show or movie, or now in this case show, he gets messed up, he has a different look. So he got burnt. Half his face, you can see the metal plating under his, uh, left side of his head there, and his eyeballs and face, his left eyeball and left side of his face is all melted, so a little different than the pizza face, which got chopped off, this is like burnt and melted, so to quote Chucky himself, he kind of looks like a tuna melt, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of gross and very nasty looking, that's from the series, so these are decals, stickers, I'm assuming they are anyway, they look like it. Now, Tiffany, we saw, she kind of looks like that, um, although her hair was a little bit different when she was holding up Andy at the end of the finale. Now, here's what's interesting to me, just as much as Chucky here. Now, this is Glenn. Now, if you look at him, he looks different. Not dramatically different, but enough to warrant uh, an explanation here, because if you look at the details... His face looks slightly fuller, a little bit fuller, not quite as thin like uh, the, the Pete Davidson drugged out look, looking, uh, you know, when, like he did in a seat of Chucky. Um, he's got longer sleeves, I've noticed. Same shirt, seemingly. Almost looks like a backpack that he's wearing or something. Uh, you see around his shoulders there and under his armpits. Uh, pants, longer. That's new, because previously... He had shorts, like these G little jean shorts. This one, he has pants. Uh, shoes look the same, but again, the long pants. And he looks a little bit older. Now, the, the, the thing that's weird about this is he, he clearly has a different look here. I'm wondering if this is how he's going to look in season two, if he shows up, or if this is just a coincidence and they just updated him for the sake of the sticker. I don't know, but it makes you wonder. Um, why does he look different? So, I haven't seen anyone talk about this. I, I do hope other people bring this up. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too much into it, but he's definitely not the same. If you look up Glenn and see, he doesn't look like this. His hair, his face, similar, obviously, his posture. The same shirt, but he's got longer pants and longer sleeves and, like, a backpack or something that he's wearing, so... What's up with that? Maybe something to look out for. But anyway, let's uh, let's move on. Okay, here we go. So final part of the video here. Going to be editing this video down. So here we have Slappy. Now this is something else that I grew up on. Big fan. Goosebumps fan since the, the 90s. Read the books, watched the show. Very creepy and awesome. Uh, so yeah, being an 80s and 90s kid, this was uh, one of my fondest childhood memories. Um... <clears throat> And I gotta say, Slappy, in my opinion, this is his creepiest and most scary uh, iteration out of all of them. The one in the middle is how he looks in the books. Kind of creepy, but not really that scary. Um, yeah, I don't know. And the one in the movie, he kind of looks like he's got poop on his nose and on his chin. He looks kind of goofy, in my opinion. He doesn't really look scary. Loosely based off the book design, but... Even the book design, in my opinion, is scarier than the one with the movies with Jack Black. And this version, just in my opinion, I think he's by far the creepiest looking version of Slappy. The eyes look evil, like uh, Rodney Dangerfield looking bulging eyes out of his head. The way he moves, he talks, he kind of reminded me of Chucky 2.0, but in a ventriloquist dummy form. Uh, yeah, so what happened, the deal with this is Trick or Treat... A couple years back, they sold Goosebumps products, and then they stopped 
apparently I found out there was some issues with the rights and they didn't have the rights for a while and they were saying that they they would get them back if they could and they would remake the stuff if they got the, the okay and this and that they haven't said anything but I'm assuming this confirms that they did get the rights back because this is the 2022 catalog here so all new stuff coming out uh, a lot of stuff that is not on the site including this stuff and I know for for the past few years, a lot of Goosebumps fans have been asking about slappy props on people's horror channels. Um, the Haunted Mask, both of them, one and two. I personally love the two masks and the slappy prop. Don't really care much about the other thing, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns, uh, the vacuum form masks or whatever. Uh, yeah, so pretty much I'm excited for this. My only concern is that a lot of people have reviewed the Billy puppet dummy from both Dead Silence and from Jigsaw. Yeah, ironically, both their names are Billy. You know, the clown on the tricycle and the doll from uh, uh, Mary... Uh, what's her face from Dead Silence? I can't remember her name. Um, yeah. Well, people have said that those puppets are like 200 bucks each and the quality is kind of crappy so that concerns me um but you know what if i have the money i really don't care because i'm not gonna like you know play with it i'll be posing them and displaying it uh but i think a lot of people's issues with these puppets uh the dummy props um is that it's cheaper and overpriced so who knows now it's slappy so i'm sure they're gonna keep the 200 mark if not more but, I don't know. I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, these are usually posable. As you can see, his left arm is kind of like in, a, in an angle. They have like a cheaper wire, not the same type of wire. Like in the, the Chucky dolls, that's like a different, a stronger wire material from what I understand. But still, this looks amazing. And this is like a huge callback to my childhood. Night of the Living Dummy and The Haunted Mask. My two favorite episodes, and I think they they know that most people probably agree, because why would they choose those two products out of all the episodes, you know? But anyway, that's going to conclude this video, guys. Okay, so we're at the Halloween page, and uh, concluding this video. So, some of these are on the site, some of them aren't, such as Halloween 2, that's 2022. The Halloween 1 and the uh, Sam Hain edition, which is all bloodied up figures I believe are available along with the uh, ghost or Bob Michael Myers never been one for figures outside of some Mortal Kombat figures and maybe a few other things but these are something I might consider also collecting down the line uh, so you got you had Halloween 1 and 2 and then you got Halloween 4 Halloween 5 the Revenge of Michael Myers Halloween 6 the Curse of Michael Myers Halloween uh, 2018 Halloween Kills Halloween 2020 one they do not have anything halloween 3 related obviously didn't have anything to do with michael myers or h2o or resurrection or the zombie versions uh so this is pretty much strictly the original timeline more or less uh of michael myers so i love how his overalls are all different colors uh, the Curse and Halloween Kills are coming out this year. They both mark 2022. So those are cool. I, I might get those at some point. I, I do want to get the masks eventually too if I can. But, uh, you know, need room for this stuff. Anyway, just going to conclude this video. Real excited for these, uh, these new products for uh, Chucky, Halloween, and uh, Goosebumps. You know, three of my favorite fran horror franchises as well as Scream. They don't seem to have many Scream stuff uh, products on here. <clears throat> Hopefully in the future they will, but we'll see. Alright, well, comment, rate, subscribe, guys, and tell me your thoughts about Chucky. Are you excited for the plush Chucky, the ultimate Chucky? Tell me your thoughts. Later. Bye.